live button right up there. See how that says live right there? And there was a little number counting down? Yeah. That means they can see us now. Okay? You want to say hi to them? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Facebook. Tonight, we got a little special treat for you. Okay? This is my daughter, Kaylee. We've been praying for her because a couple nights ago, she had a bladder infection. And she's doing much better today. In fact, about 24 hours after she started taking the, the uh, antibiotics, um, she was bouncing around on the trampoline out back. And weren't you? Yeah. It doesn't hurt anymore, does it? No. I'm so glad to hear that. Good. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Mick. I'm a priest serving two parishes in Ludington, Michigan. The first is Grace Episcopal. The second is Emmanuel Lutheran. And this is one of my seven children. This is the youngest. This is Kaylee. Can you say hello to everybody? Hi. You already did that, didn't you? Yeah, yeah that's okay. You're going to have to speak a little loud. See up in that microphone right there? That picks you up. Okay? okay? So right now, there's a bunch of people. You see that number right up there? That's how many people are, are watching right now. Why is there an eyeball? Why is there an eyeball? Because it looked, it's, it's, it's telling you how many people. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, uh, in this video today, every night we, if this is your first time in the room, welcome. It's great to have you. Every night we go over a devotion together. We go over a little bit of scripture. We have a little prayer list and we just basically check in with, with each other. We've been doing this every night since uh, Michigan, went, Michigan went into its official stay at home order and it's just become a part of our daily routine now. So welcome. And the first thing we do is we check in with everybody, right? Look, that's you right there. See that? <laughs> Uh, so here we go. Let's check in and see who's in here. Chris, that's Chris and his wife from Pennsylvania. Okay. And D Falk is watching D and Dick Falk. You know them from church, from Emmanuel. He's the one who's always operating the camera up the top. Okay. Yeah, that's Kid Dynamite. <gasps> Aunt Tracy is watching from, from New York. Can you say hi, Aunt Tracy? Hi, Aunt Tracy. There you go. That's right. Somebody is telling you to have a bowl of ice cream. I bet that's probably... We have no ice cream. Don't tell the iTeens that. He'll make an emergency run. He's probably watching right now. Aunt Tracy says, hi, Kaylee. Oh, look, see? The iTeens are watching. See? Uh-oh, that's not... And Ashley's watching, too, down in Indianapolis. Your sister Ashley is watching. I was watching. Just talking to her. You boy. were. Miss Sharon is watching. She's from Grace. She says, Hi. Mike Burns, Mike and Priscilla, Priscilla are watching too. And Kathy Iteen is calling me sweetie for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> She's saying hi, sweetie. Normally she doesn't address me like that, but that's a little strange, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. Debbie Milky is what Debbie Milky and mommy went to school together a long, long time ago. <laughs> I know, not as long as daddy, huh? Uh and see. Can't, uh, ben and Kathy say you're supposed to have a bowl of ice cream. We have no ice cream. So Don't tell can't. them that. That's not right. And Debbie says, hi, Kaylee. Greetings from Kalamazoo. Look at this. You put a cute little girl on the screen and nobody pays attention to daddy anymore. They're all looking at you. <laughs> you going to help us with something tonight? You going to help us teach the lesson? The lesson tonight is on the, one of the verses in the reading from scripture tonight is on one of the favorite verses in Sunday school and um, oh, let's see, vacation Bible school. It's the theme and all of your brother, your brother and all your sisters, they all know it because they went through a vacation Bible school where some of them were in and some of them were teaching this. Okay. So we're going to learn a verse. We're going to memorize a verse tonight, okay? And you're going to help everybody there memorize this verse. The verse is Philippians 4.13. Can you say that? Philippians? Philippians. Philippians 4.13. 4.13. Yes. Okay. Now, you ready to learn it? It comes with hand motions, okay? You ready? All right. Put your hand up to your eye. Point to your eye. I can do. Put your thumb up like that. See, you got it. They've got to see your thumb. Yay! It's a tiny little thumb, isn't it? Look at that. Oh my goodness. I, I can do all things through Christ 
who gives me, gives me strength. Strength. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. Ready? Philippians 4.13. <laughs> yeah, that's how you... Even... <laughs> Want to try it one more time? I, I can, do can do all things, all things through, Christ through Christ who gives me who gives me strength. Strength. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. Point to them and go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. You want to go back upstairs now or do you want to do the rest of the service with me tonight? You want to do this? Sure, we can do that. Let's see. Um, Yes. Need prayers for Jason and Nate. We can do that, Mike. You no, you can't <laughs> say what kind of ice cream you want. Stop. Chris says, get that kid some ice cream. Stat. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm not even reading that, Kathy and Ben. What kind of ice cream do you want, Kaylee? Ben wants to know. <laughs> Tell him what kind. Rainbow, rain rainbow unicorn ice cream rainbow unicorn ice cream yeah. my stomach hurts just thinking about that <laughs> need prayers for jay and nate we got you mike we, we can do kelly rivera is watching kelly is from is is living in houston she's from right here in in Ludington, but she lives in houston now down in texas tracy says not sure how to spell the zerbert after that well that's okay just put the funny face like that that's good she doesn't know how to spell <laughs> 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 and michael tatavito from new york is watching too hey mike good to see you so the lesson for tonight the scripture comes from the letter written to the christians in philippi okay that's why it's called philippians and we're in the fourth chapter and we're in the 10th verse Okay, and it says, Paul thanks the Christians. So if you have your Bibles right there with you, more than welcome to read right along. If not, relax, it's okay. I'll read the scripture for you and you can just listen, okay? All right, okay? Okay. I am very happy in the Lord that you have shown your care for me again. You continued to care about me, but there was no way for you to show it. I am not telling you this because I need anything. I have learned to be satisfied with things I have and with everything that happens. I know how to live when I am poor, and I know how to live when I have plenty. I have learned the secret of being happy at any time in, in everything that happens. When I have enough to eat and when I go hungry, when I have more than I need and when I do not have enough, I can do. All things, All things through, Christ through Christ because he gives me, because he gives me strength. strength. Philippians 4.13. 4, no. <laughs> <laughs> and the devotion. It's in this little, this is Christ in our home devotional. Okay. And we read this devotion to them too. All right. Uh, D says, prayers for our friend Dave, who is dealing with the effects of autoimmune disease. Absolutely, D. We'll add him to the prayer list, okay? Thank you. Strength for the journey. The writer of this devotion says, one summer I served on, a, on staff at a Bible camp. Philippians 4.13 was our theme verse. As the summer progressed, we realized many situations to which this verse could apply, giving staff counselors and campers courage to move on the verse encouraged homesick campers counselors worried about cabin dynamics youth nervous about trying new a new activity staff members unsure about their ability to lead we also learned that christ may strengthen us in unexpected ways one staff person lost a family member to a long-term illness we had hoped our theme verse would help out 
would held out promise that the loved one would recover. Instead, the words, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, became consolation, lending the staff person courage and strength amid grief. Above all, we learned that summer that Christ strengthen up, strengthens us to live as disciples and servants sustained by and sharing God's love. And the prayer for tonight is, O Christ, thank you for your strength that holds us and empowers us for all things that life brings. Amen. And the prayer concern for tonight is for those who are grieving. Okay. And look, your other sister is watching too. Rachel is watching. And Miss Sharon says, family is on way up, praying they arrive safely later tonight. Well, we'll join you in that prayer, Sharon, okay? All right. So that does bring us to our time of prayer. And those who have asked for prayers for Dave, for family who are for who are driving. Um, and I thought, that, oh, for for Jay and for Nate, special prayers that right now for what's going on with them. So Mike and Priscilla, we join you. D, we join you. And Sharon, we join you in your prayer request tonight. OK. And now we go here. What drink do you have tonight? Usually we, we share a drink. Uh, um, when I do the video. So do you have something that you brought to drink tonight? Yeah. What did you drink? What did you bring? Pedialyte. Pedialyte. What do you got in there? A shot of rum? No. No? Well, that's probably a good thing. Have some. There you go. You know what? I'm going to join you in this hard stuff, but I'm going to join you with the adult version. Powerade. Okay? Mom got me one of those, but then she just stopped doing those. Mm. <laughs> so we're going to pick up right here where we left off last night, okay? So for the prayers that we've already mentioned, Sharon, you've asked us to continue to pray for Anita, who continues to recover from her stroke, and we're thankful for that. Jean, for your, um, for your son and daughter recovering from surgery. Kelly, you've asked us to pray for Elizabeth. And Herb, we continue to pray for you as you recover, as well as Doris Jean. Greg, you've asked us to pray for Doris. Um, and John, you've asked us to pray for Rich and Maggie. And I think I'll hold the others to tomorrow night, okay? All right. And now it takes us to our time of Compline. Okay, Compline is the last office of the day. It's the last prayers of the day. And we say them here every night together. You going to join me in that tonight? Yeah? Okay. Very good. Here we go. We start right there. Can you make the sign of the cross? The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. You do that. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. You know how to bless yourself. Come on now. Just like in grace every night at the table. Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in the silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O oh Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. The lesson for tonight is taken from Jeremiah, and it says, Yet you, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us. And now, you know this one, right? The Lord's Prayer? Yeah. Want to pray it together? Let's pray it with them, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And this is called the canticle, okay, or the song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. And now for those who are going to join us, and they watch this in the morning as part of their morning devotion, well, we say a, a prayer right here for them, okay? All right. Holy Father, Thank you for loving me, for walking with me and caring about the smallest details of my life. Fill me with grace, Lord, that I may have the strength to face what is before me today. I know not what today will bring forth, but make me ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. Please give me your wisdom and fill me with your peace. May I show the same grace, Lord, to others that you show to me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now the blessing, okay? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you his peace. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be on you this night and remain with you always. Amen and amen. Okay, now you want to do it? The only person, people I know out there who know the, the hand motions to this verse are your two sisters and maybe Aunt Tracy, okay? Maybe even Mike Tatabito if he had kids at Vacation Bible School that year. So shall we do it one more time? Yeah? I, I can, do can do all things, all things through, Christ, through Christ who gives me, who gives me strength. strength. Philippians, Philippians. Say it with me. Ready? 4.13. Four, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us. I hope you have a great night. Get back up here, child. You going to say good night to him? Good night. Good night. Have a great, beautiful, wonderful day tomorrow. And Dee says, good to see Kaylee tonight. And she appears to have recovered. Yeah, you are better now? Yeah, you have one more dose of medicine to take, right? I don't like I know you don't like the medicine. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. She is doing much better. Thank you very much for all your prayers, everybody. And now, oh, be safe. Be well. <laughs> Tracy sends lots of love and hugs, okay? Be well, be safe. Love each other. Love God with all your heart. And as my daddy says, good Lord willing and the crick don't rise. I'll see you all right here tomorrow night and a special tomorrow night. If you, for those of you who are staying to the end here, good on you. Because tomorrow night, we're going to do a video from the backyard and give you a video update as requested per Mr. Suhar, the Reverend John Suhar, excuse me. Uh, he requested uh, an update on the cottage. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow night, okay? Okay. All right. Say good night. Good night. Good night, Facebook. See you tomorrow.